founder of Zen Body and Soul. Do you remember when you were a child and your imagination ran wild? You would pretend play where a spoon became a car? Well, don't you think it's time for us adults to take some tips from our children? Stay tuned for some more on that. remember when you were younger and you believed in the tooth fairy, you believed in fairy tales, and you believed in magic, maybe even Disney World, that it was a magical place with Cinderella's castle and that those people were really real? I know I believed it as a child. So what happens? We grow up, we become adults, and all of a sudden we become realists. The imagination goes away. The creativity is gone. And we're just sitting in our anxiousness, our worries, our fears, our reality. And there's no more creativity. So maybe we need to sit back and take some tips from our children. So guys, when I was a child, I remember playing with my neighbors till the wee hours of the night. And we would go into the woods behind my house, which were really small, but as a kid, it felt really large. and we would pick up sticks and pretend they were ice cream and we would feed each other. And I see my kids doing that now when they're at the playground. Um, and we pretended the forest was our home, that we lived there. We were Tarzan. And I see my kids doing that too. I also see my kids playing with Barbies or dolls and having little conversations. So my kids can just pack a little bag like this. And in the bag, I wanna show you guys, we got some crazy dolls here. You know, we got some ponies. We got some of these like tiny little, tiny little things. I don't even know what they are. And my almost four year old and my eight year old just sit there and they go, hello, hello, how are you today? And they just play with these little dolls. I mean, it doesn't even matter what it is. It could be a horse. It could be a cow, it could be a, a doll, it could be a Barbie, it could be a big doll, small doll, a stuffed animal. It doesn't matter. They just make make up imaginative um, conversations and scenarios. And it's so amazing to watch. Um, and as adults, we lose that magic. So what if, as adults, we took our tips from our kids and instead of worrying and stressing and being anxious, we actually maybe started to do some of that imaginative play. Maybe that means sitting down with your kids when they play with Barbies and actually joining in with them and not thinking about it, just doing it and see what happens. You know, what happens is you feel like a child again and, and your imagination runs wild. You forget about the circumstances in your world, and you have that joy and that peace and fun again. Because as a child, they don't worry like we do about the circumstances around them. We definitely pick that up as adults. So why does that happen? Why do we become that? Well, I was reading some articles saying that um, our brain develops more as adults and we begin to have logical reasoning, which we really don't as a child. Um, and so the key is to, to become more like our children, even as we are adults, because you know what? Who's judging us? Who cares, right? If somebody's like, oh, they're, they're so silly, they're so fun, they, they make the best of everything. Well, you know what? Then that's the worst thing they could say, right? And who cares? You know, the key is self-love. And when you have self-love and you love yourself, that's when the world around you shifts. So if you're having fun and you're remembering your childhood and you're sitting on the floor playing with your kids or your grandkids or somebody else's kids, or maybe you're just, um, you're just doing something that you haven't done in a really long time since you were little, maybe playing a sport that you used to play or playing an instrument or doing something that brings you back to your childhood. Because I'm telling you guys, it's kind of more fun being a child. So that's it, you guys. Hop over to my blog. Love you guys to take a look, take a quick read. 
because there's some more great stories. And um, I hope you guys drop a comment because I really love what you say. And remember, create more fairy tales and happily ever afters just like our kids because there's a reason why they're always so happy. Well, most of the time, right? Um, so let's create that peace, love, and gratitude for now during the holidays and forever moving forward. Thanks for watching, you guys. Yeah.